Peace. What's up creators? Today I wanted to show you guys a quick tutorial on how I do this simple yet very cool transition with audio in my vlogs. So basically what it is, it, it drops the screen black and it gives you like a reverb effect and it stops the song. <laughs> And you can even do this in like music videos and any type of, this is just a cool effect to know in general. So as you see, it stops the audio and it just like fades out with a reverb. It's a cool transition to uh, the next scene or day or whatever your vlog or ending out a music video, whatever. So let me show you how to do it. As you can see, it's green right here and it's flat and uh, the regular audio. So I'm going to just delete this. This is the actual effect. Uh, what you want to do is you want to drag this out. You want to find a like a distinct sound that you can use it on like a whoop or an ad lib or the last word that you say. So, so here he says, yeah. So we're going to go, we're going to zoom in and we're going to go up until he's about to say the next thing and we're going to cut it and get rid of it. Now what you're going to do is cut it here at the end as well and then where it uh, right before and he makes any other noises or anything else in it this yeah is where we're gonna do it and now we have this piece right here we're gonna right click and we're gonna do nest okay so now we have a nested file it's a separate file from everything else so let's double click on this nested file come over here and you want to do a new black video okay cool so now we have a, just a black video which is just it's just a video of nothing so you want to drag this into your nested clip so let's come over here to the audio transitions get a crossfade throw on here so let's go to the end of this green audio clip and let's go two frames and let's drag this back that's just so it fades out smoothly at the end now what a black video does is let's get out of this nested clip go back to the real one is it makes you be able to expand that audio that way that reverb can drag like ah, ah. Yeah, that was bad. So let me show you. So that audio can drag on. You can add effects to it. So let's chop it down a little bit. And we're going to go find the, I type in reverb. We're going to use studio reverb, drag it onto that um, nested clip. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. So then uh, click on that clip, go back to effects. Now you have the studio reverb here. You want to hit edit. And I usually use great hall. That's my favorite one to use, but you can use any of them. So this is what that sounds like. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, but you can also go through them and see the other ones if you like them. They all have different sounds. Swirly reverb. That one's not that cool. Uh, outside the club. So uh, whatever, you know, they all have different ones. Let's see what this one sounds like. That's kind of cool. Vocal reverb large, but I use the great hall. That's me. So yeah, that wraps up the tutorial on the cool effect. If you like this tutorial or better yet, this effect, uh, drop me a like and also drop me a comment. Let me know if this helped you out. So I'll see you guys next video, man. Stay creative.